Welcome to Livestream Ninja. My name is Ulysses. This is episode number eight. In this episode, we'll talk about Apple HLS. Apple HLS stands for HTTP Live Streaming. It's a proprietary protocol developed by Apple back in 2011. It's used primarily for deploying and delivering videos to the client. It works with live streaming as well as video on demand. Apple HLS is the only video protocol that works pretty much on all devices from desktops, whether it's a PC, Mac, or Linux. Obviously, it works on iOS devices, whether it's an iPod, iPad, iPhone, and Apple TV. It also works on Android devices uh, from phones and tablets. Uh, anything that's above version 3.0. Uh, version 3.0, I believe, is codenamed Honeycomb. If you have viewers that are on older versions of Android, then you should consider using RTSP, a real-time streaming protocol, as a fallback player. So how does Apple HLS work? Well, Apple HLS requires a server and a client. The server has two elements. That's the encoder and the segmenter. The encoder turns the H.264 video and encapsulates it into an MPEG.TS file. TS means transport streams. The segmenter, its job is to create chunks of smaller video files and their extension is usually .TS and they're placed in one directory. The Apple HLS server also creates an index file or a manifest file and that manifest file usually has an extension of .m3u8 and that file is just um, um, XML based file you can actually open and view it in it is a playlist of the shorter videos that the uh, server has created when for example a client requests for an Apple HLS stream it will reserve first the manifest and the manifest obviously has the playlist and it will deliver those playlists uh, uh, the player will ask for those videos and then there's constant handshaking between the server and the client and then the client will receive an updated version of the index or the manifest file and then until you know the stream is over. HLS also supports uh, ABR or adaptive bitrate streaming. ABR is, is a technology used for adapting video quality based on the user's bandwidth. The technology is usually on the player the player will will negotiate with the server and find out what's um, what's the available bandwidth and using some kind of uh, algorithm it will play a higher quality when the bandwidth is good if the bandwidth is slow then it will play a lower quality video the advantage of HLS is it works pretty much on all devices you know on desktops iOS devices, Android devices, uh, it even works on smart TVs, uh, Roku, over-the-top devices, or OTT devices. The disadvantage is that Apple HLS has a high latency, especially on iOS devices. The, the delay could be as long as 30 seconds. For live streaming, th that's not really a showstopper because uh, it's a one-way communication between the publisher and the viewer. So uh, the, main, the main thing about Apple HLS is that it's proprietary. That's the very reason why a lot of companies have gotten together and came up with an open standard called MPEG DASH. Or DASH means uh, Dynamic Adaptive uh, Streaming over HTTP. Anyway, that's pretty much Apple HLS in a nutshell. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow and bookmark our pages. Uh, thanks for watching.